It's quite tricky to do a video this month for March 2020 because I want to be positive, I want to be upbeat, and I will be. There's some really good things to share on this, but there's been a lot of sad news with the world, with the whole pandemic that's going on. And really, it's been the unknown for everybody, it's been different for everybody. Um, and yeah, we'll try and keep it as positive in this video and future videos going forward with the apes, but equally it'd be wrong to ignore what's going on in the world. Um, but before we talk about March 2020, please subscribe to this channel. We're trying to grow it. The purpose of this channel is one, so we can share our music, document what we do. It's good for our followers to see what we do, but equally, you know, we're not a famous band. We, we've all got our jobs. We're all semi-professionals technically with the Peppermint Apes. We don't claim to be celebrities in any shape or form, but we are experienced. We do have pride in what we do, and we'd like to think that some people can learn from us, and we can learn from other people as well, from comments, from what people suggest to us, and hopefully there's some young musicians or older musicians that can see what we do and maybe be inspired with the journey. So please subscribe hit notifications and leave us comments so we can obviously learn from you guys as well. So on a personal note, March has also been a little bit sad for me because my granddad passed away uh, at the age of 90. It's a really good age to, to live to, um, but it's always really sad of course, but uh, rest in peace, Granddad John. Um, but also some lovely news as well. So as I said in the, in the last video, um, Lewis, is going to be a dad. So we've got a baby ape on the way. He's married to my sister Lauren, so I'm going to be an uncle. And uh, we had the, the gender reveal. The nice little thing is my granddad, before he passed, actually predicted that the sex was going to be a girl. We all thought it was going to be a boy, because a lot of the midwives and people said that we can't give you the accurate answer yet, but they reckon it could be a boy. Um, in Lewis's family, it's kind of like there's a lot of boys in the family, so we kind of expected it to be a, a boy. Um, but they had the, the gender reveal, and it turned out to be a girl. So my granddad was right. So baby ape, I think they're going to call it Hattie. It could change. We'll find out as, as the videos go on. We'll reveal that for you. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a little girl this year. So the start of March, we had a gig lined up in Colchester, the Centurion. As the Peppermint Apes, we have never played in Colchester before, so it was the, this was a first for us. Chris and I, we used to play in a band called Strikeout, we used to play Colchester on a regular basis, at a place called the Roberts Bar, so we've got some fond memories there. My dad, who obviously has managed the band over the years, grew up in Colchester as a kid, so a special place to play. Um, but yeah, we played the Centurion. I didn't actually take my vlog camera to film you know, clips for this video, but luckily um, Tom Bissell came along and Sam Clouton set up a camera on stage. We did a separate video on YouTube, which I suggest you check out. The Peppin Apes Live at the Centurion. It's a little highlights video, so under five minutes long of that gig, but here's a little clip of it. What do you think, Lou? Are they waking up a little bit now? This gentleman is. Let's groove it up a bit, Sam. Take it away, boy. After the gig at the Centurion in Colchester, we got together to do another podcast, episode two. The first episode, check it out on YouTube. We spoke about the history of the band from start to where we are now, from 2008, different lineups across the years. This episode, we just we were going to get together really to talk about the local music scene. See, we're doing gigs. Chris and I have done gigs with the other band. The, you know, Lewis and Sam Clouting have done gigs before with other bands as well. 
Obviously we've done original gigs over the years and we just wanted to sort of talk about that. But just like I started in this vlog, you know, we couldn't avoid the whole coronavirus pandemic at the moment. And at this point, you know, we hadn't had lockdown, we hadn't had any sort of massive figures come in at that point. It was a little bit still unknown as it still is today. Um, but we weren't sure if it was a bit of a media hype or if it was something to really be concerned about. I think we were all concerned, 100%. We were all worried, um, but at the same time, we didn't think it would have the impact that it's had since that podcast. So if you do check out the podcast, you know, we're not cold, we don't dismiss it. We just obviously were young guys, unsure what to expect of what's coming around the corner. But it's a really good podcast. Check it out, episode two. We talk a lot about the coronavirus from that date and then obviously the local music scene as well. Right, so um, what I'm thinking, right, can, right, can you uh, hear me? Yeah, I can hear my ears. Can you hear Chris? Hello, can you hear me? Mm, sort of. Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, cool. Cool. So, um, before we start the podcast then, just as a bit of a, a breakdown then, so you've got some of the points in on for the screen for us to look at. Yeah. So, some um, facts. It, do you, did you want me to host it? I think it's best. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> even if you did say, as the resident hypochondriac, because that is me, I'm a hypochondriac, so yeah. I think we're doing intro again, so... Say hi guys. Yeah. Uh, welcome to episode two of uh, our Pippin Nates podcast. So yeah. we're going to cover a bit more of a serious topic. Blah blah blah. Um, and today our resident hypochondriac is going to take it and then just put it over to me and I can just yeah. start blabbing then. So. No, that makes sense. So you you want me to do the introduction? Yeah, yeah. To keep it consistent with the other video. Um, so I press record on Chris's phone and um, and then we'll get going, I suppose. Yeah, that's cool. So since we did that podcast, yeah, we weren't sure if gigs would be cancelled, you know, is it a media hype, like I said? We didn't know. There was a lot of things that we, it was a conversation. We're not experts in any shape or form. That's the point of podcasts, is, is guys sitting down, having a chat, which can be quite interesting. Um, and sadly, a lot of people have died since that podcast around the world. Um, you know, we'll go through stats at another video, in terms of how many people have got the virus, how many people have survived it, how many people have died. You know, it changes on a daily basis, as, as you're all aware. Um, so it, it completely, you know, was worse than what we expected. Um, there has been a lockdown since. We weren't sure if that would happen. We did say that it could happen, um, but it has. So everyone is, is based at home. We weren't sure if gigs would be cancelled or we even said maybe the private functions would still continue. You know, that's how unknown it was. Um, but yeah, people aren't having weddings. They're allowing funerals. I'm, my granddad's got a funeral, which I'm having soon. Um, and there's only 10 people allowed to go there. So, of course, all gigs have been postponed until further notice. As time goes on, we will keep you aware of any gigs that we'll do in the future. Um, but there are some good news which I'll share in a minute in regards to the apes and what we're going to do virtually. So about a week before Boris Johnson officially announced the lockdown um, in the UK, um, we went to Basin Studios to tighten up the set and learn some new songs like Let Me Entertain You, where Chris is actually playing bass on that song. He's going to play bass on a few songs just to you know, mix it up a little bit here and there. As you've probably seen from some of the vlogs like Jan and Feb, 2020 uh, there's footage of us rehearsing I usually leave the camera just on the side on a tripod leave it recording and just capture things as it happens I might not use anything or there might just be you know little nuggets that I upload for these videos or to hold back to release at a later date um, and what you're about to see now is us having a little rehearsal um, and also having a chat you know, we almost forgot the camera was rolling, just us having a chat about what's going on with coronavirus and what we th what we think's gonna happen down the line.
Is it better than last year? Is it? I don't be so morbid. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from you, boy. <laughs> Come on, Ryan, cheer up. No, what do we? What do we? What's the matter So we, uh, you know, we, we're, we're doing a little Facebook live tonight. I, I personally think, like I say, this might be our last rehearsal for a couple of weeks, and then obviously with the gig at the Swan, what April the eleventh. That's probably the cancer, isn't it? I don't know. No, like I said that it's the Swan, the resilient. Yeah, but we. We we'll have to see where we are near the time. There's worse viruses in that toilet than there are coronavirus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You, you nervous though, Sam? Of what? The gig or the virus? Both. <laughs> um, gig, I'm excited, but, you know, it's just the turnout, isn't it? Not a problem. It makes sound like everyone's got fucking coronavirus, then it, but it's just, uh, just an idea. What was to say, obviously, today's Wednesday. Friday could be lockdown. For your feedback, Lou. Today's Wednesday. Friday could be lockdown, couldn't it? Yeah. And so then we'll have to do more Facebook shit, won't we? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. In the meantime, though, that's just that's practice a couple of songs. So we've, we've practiced Let's Stick Together, All I Have, for Facebook Live. What the Sheriff might be in the I shot the Sheriff and a fourth one. Uh, Cape by the Ocean? Yeah. Little Sam Fender? What? The Cape different? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll be on. Should we try it? We've done stereophonics, haven't we, already on some of the live videos? Yeah. Um, should we try our shot the show quickly? Yeah. and put out a little news video just obviously confirming that all our gigs have postponed until due course um, and what we're planning to do which is release more music while we're at home send each other the clips with modern technology we can record our own little parts and put out music videos down the line and we're also going to do podcasts via Skype etc so he revealed that and like I say YouTube please subscribe to this channel but also check out our Facebook page, like us on there, facebook.com forward slash the peppermint Age, because you can see those kind of video clips as well and be up to date with everything that we're doing. So in March 2020, there's not really a lot I can report. I haven't got loads of clips and I think everyone's been taken over by this whole coronavirus pandemic and all I can say is I hope everyone is safe, you know, especially all our subscribers, all our followers on Facebook and new people that are watching this. Um, there's been a lot of deaths and it's so sad and do you know what, I really do send my condolences to anyone, any families out there um, that are grieving through this tough time, any businesses that have had to go under, anyone that's you know had to be made redundant. Um, it's a tough time for the whole world and no one really knows what's around the corner but all I can say is you know there will be light at the end of the tunnel. Just stay home, stay safe, wash your hands all the basic stuff that the government do say but we just need to do it we've, we've, all, we've all if we all stay home and you know follow the government guidelines only go shopping if it's really essential keep your distance the two meter rule eventually we'll we'll fight this and we'll come to the other side and people will be you know back working again we can all go down the pub we can all see each other see our loved ones again and eventually we can start gigging again so all I care about is everyone's safety, so please, please, everybody, that's all just joining on this, you know. But on a different note, we're looking forward to bringing out more content on YouTube and Facebook. And if anything, we've got more of an excuse now because everyone's at home, no one's doing any gigs, no one's doing any rehearsals, you know, a lot of us aren't working as much or working from home. So we can actually bring loads more content now. So from a digital point of view, it's really exciting for the band. So like I say, please subscribe to this channel so you can be up to date with everything that we're doing. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Peppermint Apes. And if you are a band at the moment and you're out there, my advice to you would be take advantage of this. You know, it's really, really sad. You know, we want everyone to be healthy. We want everyone to come out the other side. But the one positive that we can get from this is 
you've got a platform where people can watch what you're doing. So if you're a musician, now's the time to share your time.